the Samsung MU8000 might not be part of Samsung's premium QLED line, but it's packed with similar features, and one of its best features aside from the brilliant 4K UHD picture with HD on is how cleanly it can be installed in your home theater. We've put together the Samsung MU8000 inboxing and setup guide, filled with step-by-step -step instructions and handy tips for easily getting your new 4K TV up and running. What's in the box in addition to the TV itself? You'll find the following in the box quick setup guide. Samsung One remote with batteries included. Four spaces for wall mounting. Two separate stand legs marked right and left. One connect breakout box. Power cable. Four wall mounting spaces. Two decorative back plates for cable management. Several items are not included with the TV. You will need to buy HDMI cables to connect your TV to other devices. The easiest way to ensure you have HDMI cables is to buy the Amazon Basics high-speed HDMI cables at the same time you buy your TV. If you do not buy the Amazon Basics HDMI cable, make sure that the HDMI cables are rated as high-speed cables so they can accommodate the large amount of data 4K HDR content requires. Additionally, the TV does not come with any wall mounting hardware. For information about wall mounting check out our wall mounting guide video. Hardware setup be sure to open the top of the box first. You'll find a quick setup guide there that will give you helpful guidance during setup. The MU8000 offers two different stand configurations, one wider than the other. Decide which one works better for your entertainment center. Then, simply slide the legs into the slots under the TV until they click. Unlike other TVs, this step doesn't require fastening pieces with screws. The next step is to set up the Connect 1 box. Instead of plugging in 2 to the TV, you'll be plugging in your external devices game consoles, streaming devices, Blu-ray players, etc. into the Connect 1 breakout box included with the TV. There are 4 HDMI ports, including one with arc for easy soundbar setup, an antenna connection, two USB ports, and an optical audio port is, as noted previously, you'll need your own cables to connect your devices. Remove the Mu8000's decorative back panel, which hides the input ports for the Connect 1 and power cable. Plug both in. The cables can be routed through the right stand leg to hide the cables, though be aware that this will shorter the available length of the power cord to around a foot in length. There is a second recessed bay that houses a USB port for plugging in flash drives and an Ethernet port for hardwired internet connection perfect for streaming. Features and design The MU8000 has a sleek, slim profile. The almost non-existent bezel lets the massive, crisp screen shine, and it really does shine. The screen is bright, delivering vibrant picture in even well at environments. The one point of consideration when setting up the TV is the viewing angle. Since the MU8000 is an LED TV, the picture tends to get blown out the further off center your angle when watching. Make sure the TV is positioned within the sweet spot when facing your seating arrangement. The cable management and connect one box also make for a clean installation. Your home theater will look dapper. And since the back is so flat, it'll look great wall mounted, too. For more of our thoughts on the Mu8000's design and performance, be sure to check out our full review. Software Setup The Mu8000 runs on the Tizen Smart TV OS. Software setup starts with configuring your Wi Fi connection if you're not already connected to the internet via Ethernet. After you're connected to the internet, the TV will automatically detect any devices connected to it to the Connect 1 box. The software will identify and label them properly. You'll then be able to control your connected devices with the included Samsung One remote. Next, let's optimize your picture settings. For presets, we recommend the movie setting. Should that be too dim, try enabling the HDR setting. You'll find it located in the expert settings. This will give you an HDR-like effect for non-HDR content, while simultaneously giving you a brilliant picture. Finally, we recommend switching off the motion smoothing. Under the Auto Motion Plus settings, we recommend setting the judder reduction to zero. If you've enabled the HDR setting, this Auto Motion Plus will be set to Auto, but you'll want to switch it off to avoid that distracting soap opera effect.